Hi, this is Kathy Goodwin, and today we're going to talk about a really challenging career planning topic, what to do when you really, really hate your job. Why this topic is critical? Well, first, it's critical to your health. Now, I am not a medical professional, but I have seen research showing that you actually are at risk for certain health conditions when you hate your job. As one medical expert says, your heart attack isn't about what you eat, it's about what's eating you. And then we have your finances. When you hate your job, you have financial risks from the health issues. And as we'll see, you can sabotage your own job by setting the wrong cues or making mistakes that will actually get you out of a job which creates more financial pressure in the long run. Then there's your family and your friends, of course. Your stress carries over into your interactions with them because when you're tense and you're upset, and jobs are really a big part of our lives, it will affect the way you relate to them. And that in turn makes the situation even worse because now you've really jeopardized a critical source of support that could actually help you deal with this job. And finally, your career, because when you're in a job that you hate, you're really risking long-term opportunities. Ultimately, it's rare to be successful in a job you hate and the clock is ticking. Careers have windows of opportunity, and you can miss yours by getting sucked into a really bad situation. I'm Kathy Goodwin. I have an MBA and a PhD in business. I am a published author, both online. I had a book published with New Harbinger, which is now being reissued as an ebook. I am a recognized expert. I have been interviewed by the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal, USA Today Online, Denver Post, and lots of other places. I love talking about careers. I have tons of experience with my own jobs and with clients. So I combine the book smart part of my research into transition and into career with my street smarts of my own background and working with my own clients. So let's see what's going on here. First, you have, generally people think you have two options, quitting or gritting, and I'll explain them. Quitting is risky because you're in a one down position after you quit. You're like the person in that hot air balloon who may be forced to land in treacherous territory. It's easier to get a job when you're employed. You probably know that. It's also easier to get a loan, health insurance, memberships, and organizations. Even worse, once you've celebrated quitting your job, and it's usually a moment of celebration, you might begin to worry about your future. Some people now thrive on uncertainty, and they sleep well at night, even though they have no idea where the money is coming from to pay their mortgage. But many people get paralyzed by fear. That's that deer in the headlights syndrome. And if you're scared, you can make very bad decisions. Once money is tight, you also lose access to resources such as career coaches and consultants who can speed your transition and help it go more smoothly. Gritting is also risky because you can damage your health by constant stress. And again, I'm not a medical person. But I believe that when you're tense all the time, it's easy to make bad decisions and mistakes. So you end up self-sabotaging and you're sending out vibes like, hit me, I'm already down. And you can end up getting fired or getting into trouble or getting into some kind of a mess at the worst possible time. So what's your best strategy? Well, this is what we could call big picture thinking. Here's where you use your job as a vehicle to move to greater opportunity. Think of how you view your job as a resource. Can you pick up skills? Can you take classes? Can you take time off, maybe during the day or a few days at a time or using your vacation days to explore opportunities? And while you're planning your escape, you need to protect yourself from negativity. That's really important because you may have a dysfunctional, toxic, or abusive environment, and you need to keep from getting so caught up that you lose sight of the big picture. I've been there, and I've worked with many clients who hated their, jo their jobs and who have been there. So I've written this book, 10 Things to Do When You Really, Really Hate Your Job. You get strategies to make the most of your job, to protect yourself from a toxic environment, and most important, how to maintain perspective. So click on this link or you could just Google my name to find me on Amazon. You don't need a Kindle reader to gain access because you can click on these links and get a free download. Read on your computer. And I want to thank you for joining me today and I wish you the very best of luck in your career and your life.